want to kick this ball out. When someone thinks of a former football player, patents and inventions are not usually part of what comes to mind. But if you're talking about Tally Williams, then sports and engineering do mix. Tally graduated from the University of Waterloo in 1994 with a degree in engineering. And he followed that with a successful run with the Toronto Argonauts as a defensive back in the mid-90s. Tally went on to start a successful engineering research and development company located in Beverly Hills, California, specializing in water quality projects around the world. Yeah, I'm very uh, passionate about water and um, specifically drinking water. You know, I've uh, built a whole career around developing and testing new technologies for treating water. Although his day job was satisfying, he still had an itch for sports and wanted to develop something new. What Tally came up with was a new device that helps golfers improve their game. So how did all this start? Well, I've had some success in um, engineering and um, I wanted to get back into the field of athletics. So I said uh, to myself, what's the hardest thing to do in sports? And it was either to hit a 90 mile an hour fastball in baseball or a little golf ball sitting there. So I uh, did some research and I think that the hitting the golf ball was the, the harder of the two. And so I put some time into researching that and seeing what I could do to help golfers' ability to do that. Uh, hit 600 balls a day on the range uh, for two years and I rode every morning for three hours documenting my work and also developing new equations for circular motion. Um, in what the did end, you write down? Uh, it was just a combination of things I'm working on that day, things we've, uh, we, we've tried. Uh, you know, every day you, you come up with a new idea and you think a better way to improve the product and uh, so you, you jot it down and you explore it, you test it the next day. I have uh, buddies in my group that we'd, we'd go play every day. I had to, oh, I think this might be it and mm -hmm. see if it holds up under pressure. And um, you know, you just keep uh, developing it and making it better. Uh, so I did that for uh, a number of years and eventually, I eventually developed a great golf swing. And what, the, what I learned next was that no matter how great a golf swing you learn on the range, it's still very difficult to transfer it to the course. And so then I ended up studying Zen Buddhist meditation techniques uh, to take a golfer's mind off their swing. And uh, in the end, I ended up combining the uh, theories of uh, three philosophers, Einstein, Newton, and Freud, with my new equations for circular motion and developed a, a talent point, um, T-A-L-Y-N-T. It's got a little tally in there. And, um, and a golf product and a golf tool uh, to make that point visible. So what does your invention consist of? Well, it's a uh, mechanical device um, and it has a talent point at its tip here uh, for focusing on and what it does is it attaches to your forearm mm -hmm. and instead of swinging your golf club you actually swing this red ball and your mm -hmm. golf ball gets hit. Looks a little bit like a, like a golf ball. Did you just take a golf ball and paint it red? Uh, no, I did not, but I did want something that was very vibrant and colorful, something that would take your mind off what you're doing and sort of hold your focus, because that's one of the things that's uh, very difficult in golf. You know, just a split second, your mind will jump back and to remind you of all the failures that you've had over all your golf swings. I've heard you say that uh, your process uh, involves uh, not swinging your arms while hitting a golf ball. I can't understand how would, you would not be swinging your arms when you're swinging your arms, or it appears at least as such. Right, that's true. It's uh, somewhat controversial, I guess. You know, we do get a, a lot of YouTube hits because of that. I think we're up to like two million now. But um, that's based on Einstein's theory of relativity. It's all relative. So um, basically what happens, if you have a person who's standing on a bus, standing still on a bus, and the bus is moving down the street, a person on the bus would say, well, that person is standing still, yet the person who's out on the sidewalk looking at the bus and the moving would say that person is moving. And so we've actually incorporated that into the golf swing such that you hold your arms stationary while your body moves and such you're not swinging, but you are impacting the golf ball. So it's without swinging your arms. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have to. <laughs> I guess I'll have to try that right. uh, myself. So when, when you're not swinging your arms, but uh, it appears like you're swinging your arms, uh, from what I understand, you're able to go ahead and drive a golf ball 300 yards or more. Uh, and they've tested this or something? It's sort of the, the holy grail in golf. Everybody wants to hit the ball 300 yards. And yeah, at one point, you know, you should, uh, when you're, you're developing a product and as an inventor, you want to substantiate your claims. And so 300 yards without swinging, uh, without swinging your arms, I uh, got tested by an independent lab and I uh, got five swings. 
And um, we did well. I think we averaged about 308 yards, and the longest was 319 yards. So ah, okay. we posted it on our website, too. Oh, what was the lowest one, dare I ask? Uh, I think 301. So 301. Oh, all so you're, still, you're all right. above three. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Very important, exactly, yeah. So if anybody wants to see that, they can go to tally.com, and uh, we have our results posted there. So what was your biggest challenge in developing the Tally Mindset device? Well, you probably uh, we ran into a, a few along the way, but... Um, you know, I think as an inventor, one of the ones is you're always worried about somebody stealing your idea. Uh, and that's sort of where the IAL comes in there. And then also even uh, if things go well, keeping up with orders. But I would say probably the biggest challenge um, that we faced, or even that I faced, was finding the right problem to solve. A lot of times, you know, you, you can solve a problem many different ways, but you've got to make sure you're solving the right problem. And I'm trying to improve a golfer's ability to score. You know, do I develop a better golf club? Do I give them a better swing? Or maybe do I give them a better mindset or a combination of those? And um, so that was the biggest challenge. Because once you find the problem or the, right, or the proper problem to solve, you know, a lot of times the solution can come fairly quickly. For exercise and to get away from engineering new things, Tally heads to the local basketball court. Tally is now exploring product ideas for sports other than golf. Yeah, we're, we're going to be releasing a few new products in a couple different sports. Uh, my first passion is basketball. Actually, I actually want to play professional basketball, but uh, there's only 12 players on an NBA team and uh, there's 53 on a football team. So I did the math and um, you know, played the better odds. So if you knew then what you know now, what would you do differently? Uh, that's pretty funny. Um, if I knew then what I knew now, I would probably play professional golf, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> that's what I do. I play professional golf and trust my talent. So your swing got up to that level. Absolutely, yeah. I wish I knew those things back then. Well, that leads me to the million dollar question. Uh, are you making money with this device? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've been fortunate and I think I would say we're actually, I'm very blessed that um, you know, we've been, uh, we've been uh, making profits from the first year we launched our product. And at this point now, we've got probably three of the top five instructors in the world are using it and then probably six of the top 30 uh, professional golf players on, on the PGA Tour actually carry it in their bag. So it's coming along and uh, we're getting ready for the next stages. So what advice would you give to fellow inventors who haven't gone all the way yet with their invention? Yeah. Well, what I'd say to them is, uh, you know, stick with it. Uh, believe in yourself. Uh, you do want to have a good product, so you really need to flush out your ideas. I used a, a program from the Inventors Assistance League um, their documentation program there allows you to really flush out and find, you know, the best product that you can bring to market. So I do recommend that for golfers, actually for, sorry, budding inventors. Um, and, but also just trusting yourself and trust your talent. But I say talent with an E. No question, Tally has talent and has trusted his talent, whether that be on the football field, as an engineer or inventor. Although rather hush-hush about his next invention, if his past history is any indication, whatever it is, it will most likely be a winner. <laughs>